Today, we're going to do an overview and a review of the platform Beehive. Now, Beehive is one of the website builders that we talked about in a recent video. And in that video, we talked about some simple website builders such as Beehive, which is more of a newsletter platform in the style of Substack. But we also talked about things like Webflow and we talked about Card as well. Now, if you want some premium courses to help you learn how to design a website that's gonna be more complex than Beehive, then check out the link in the description for our courses. But like I said, what we're gonna do is focus on Beehive today. And this is a platform that allows you to monetize a newsletter. It's an all-in-one platform. So it means that you're not going to use other tools in addition to this. Instead, it's gonna have all the features and we're gonna go through those features that allow you to create a website, create a newsletter and to monetize that newsletter. And what we're finding at the moment is the rise of the monetized newsletter. Now in the past, people talked about newsletters as a way to generate leads, to send them down sales funnels. But now we can actually monetize directly with a newsletter without having anything on top of that. And we'll look at the way that Beehive does this for us later. So what I like to do when it comes to reviewing these tools is just to go through some of the features. And these features are very simple in the way that they portray them. But when I've dug into Beehive, it's quite a powerful platform. But the idea is this, that you can build a newsletter that allows you to get subscribers through a landing page, give them content in your newsletter, have content on your blog as well, and then monetize this newsletter in three main ways. So as we scroll down, we see that the first feature is to create, you can create a website, home base for your content and readers, and also a newsletter. So please and readers in the inbox, one open at a time. So these are the two main creation tools that we have, the website, where you can think of it as like your blog and your landing page, and then also the newsletter, the emails that you're going to send out to people. And then we'll look at this feature in more depth soon, but it has a text editor that allows you to create emails, and it also is gonna give you the templates that you need. It's gonna have automations, which we'll look into what these automations are as well, and artificial intelligence, which we're finding in lots of tools these days. The ability to create text within the app instead of going to something like ChatGPT, and then copy and paste in instead, it's gonna have that built into the actual app. Now, this is what I find really interesting, this part before the monetization. So when it comes to growing your newsletter, in most cases, what you're gonna do is create content, you're gonna advertise, send people to your newsletter, and then people will sign up through the landing page. But on here, we can see that there are three other ways that you can grow your newsletter within the Beehive platform. The first one is a referral program. So this is to incentivize your readers to help you grow. So what you can do is say, hey, do you want to join my referral program? If you share this newsletter, then you can earn money if people sign up through it. So just a, a very integrated referral program. Again, we're not using external tools here. Instead, we're using the built-in tools from Beehive. The next one is Boosts. Now, this is when you can, as they say here, tap into thousands of newsletters to help you grow faster. So what you can do basically is say, hey, I want more people subscribing to my newsletter. I want to put a little ad in someone else's newsletter on the Beehive network. And obviously you can have ads on yours as well. And we'll see that in the monetization section soon. And then the next one is recommendations. So you can cross promote your favorite newsletters and people do that for you as well. And I won't talk about this too much right now, but we have pop-ups and gating. So you can have pop-ups on the post. So you create content on the blog, a pop-up comes saying, hey, do you wanna subscribe? Subscribe forms, connect, collect emails on any website. So you can actually integrate this into different websites too. And then magic links as well, where it's a one-click auto subscribe functionality. Now, this is the exciting part, and this is what a lot of newsletter companies like Beehive are starting to integrate. I'm sure you've seen something similar with things like Substack, um, but this one on Beehive is quite unique because what they're doing is they're really getting this good network of people and brands who want to advertise in specific newsletters. So advertising within a newsletter now is a big thing and this is growing and growing. So what you can do is monetize your newsletter with ads from world-renowned brands. And the idea here is that as you write your newsletter, you can have a section 
with an ad and you're going to get paid depending on the price that you set and everything else. So what you're doing really is you're inserting ads into your newsletter. So this is great for those who want to monetize writing, want to monetize their newsletter, but don't want to create a course. They don't want to do an affiliate program and, and promote affiliate links. They don't want to sell one-to-one -one consulting. Instead, they want to get a lot of people subscribing to their newsletter, focusing on that and that only, and then inserting things like ads. Now, this next one's great as well because you can generate passive income by recommending other newsletters too. So within your newsletter, you can say, hey, what about this one? If you've enjoyed this, sign up to my friend here. And then if people sign up and then pay, then you're going to get revenue from that as well. And then as we're seeing as well, instead of creating online courses, instead of using different platforms for this, you can say, I have a premium subscription. And this is when you can turn your readers into paying subscribers, which is a great thing if you want to focus on the content that you create within the newsletter only and have some extra features, some extra stuff when it comes to this. So we're seeing this on platforms like Substack. We're seeing it on Twitter as well, Twitter subscriptions. You see it on YouTube as well, where you can create YouTube memberships. And this is becoming more and more popular where this extra premium subscription is within the app that you're using. Now, I had a little play around with Beehive before, and this is the default type of landing page when it comes to creating your landing page. So you can see here, we have enter your email address. I just uploaded this little picture and AI image. This is your little logo that you can create as well. And you can change this as well. So you can have more text here. You can say different buttons, different colors, etc. And this is quite an easy way to do it. So if we actually go into the app, this is what it looks like when you're designing your website. So you have the general color palette layouts. Um, you can do different types of layouts here. Um, themes as well, typography. It's not an advanced website builder. I think this is actually sometimes easier for most people who don't want to go deep into website design. If you do want to go deep into website design though, and know that things like Beehive is going to be limited because it's an all-in-one app. And if you want to really just create that custom website with custom tools, then go to No Code MBA and take a look at our lessons, our courses, and also get our free guide because it's going to show you exactly how you can build something more customizable if that's the road that you want to go down. We're going back to this, the different types of pages that you can create, create our landing pages, homepage, upgrade page, and also you can add internal pages too. So you can create different types of pages here to just put on your website if that's what you prefer to do. But in most cases, what's gonna happen is you're gonna create the website and then when you create a new post, then that's gonna live on the website depending on the theme and the template that you choose. And then the dashboard looks like this in general. So we have different types of things down here, the different menu options where we can write we can write posts and um, that's post going to live on your uh, blog. And then we go down here, the different referral programs that we talked about before, boosts, etc. the monetization, how to get started with ads, sponsorships, partner program and boosts. And then we can also look at the audience when it comes to lists. Now here, you don't have any act active subscribers. You can import your list from elsewhere. So if you have a list elsewhere, you can import it here. And when I was researching this tool, I found that you can export your subscribers from Beehive too, which is great because that means you're not going to be tied to the platform if you want to grow. So let's say you want to export from Beehive to MailChimp. That's something that you can do. You can have your, all your email subscribers live on MailChimp. Now you can build a website with Webflow. You can integrate that with member stack to have online courses. So this is something that's important to know when it comes to signing up to tools. If you can export the clients, the data, the members, if it's a membership website, etc. Now, when it comes to pricing, there are three main models and also the enterprise model, but most people will either do the launch grow or scale. So launch is $0. So it's free. You get up to 2,500 subscribers, unlimited stands, web hosting, custom newsletters, etc. Now, for most people, they're going to want things like custom domains. So this is an important thing. Again, when it comes to building up any kind of online presence, if it's under your own domain, 
then you can change the website builder later. Now, it also has things like premium subscriptions, everything where you can create segments, audience polls, etc. here. Now, if you want to have the ad network integrated, then it does come at this price up here. And in most cases, you won't be able to monetize or get anything significant from an ad network if you have a thousand subscribers, let's say. So when you're getting up to this 100,000 subscriber base, then you're going to benefit from that ad network. And then that $84 a month will feel irrelevant if all of this works well for you and you're having paid subscribers, if you're having the other monetization abilities built into this as well. Now, here is an example of a website built with Beehive, um, the Daily Byte. And if you actually scroll down, I know this is built on Beehive too, because if you click privacy, then it goes to the Beehive privacy policy. Now, as you can see, what we have at the top is this, the Daily Byte by Snap Prompt. Then we have like a, a little text thing here and then enter your email, subscribe for free. And I also like this button where it says, let me read some articles first. So if you go to the article page, you can see how much that this page has actually been modified and you can show you a little bit about how customizable it can be. But the idea is the same. What we have at the top is like the hero section, a strong image, enter your email address to subscribe. And then just go into one of the example posts here. We can see just how much you can modify this. So it's showing you like this is more of an email newsletter style and you can post your email newsletter to your blog. People like to have it into their email address. So you can see this is how you can customize the templates when it comes to creating the designs that you want to create. So that is an overview of the platform Beehive. Now, like I mentioned before, if you want to build using more complex tools and also get a really good overview of no code fundamentals with this course here, then go to nocode.mba and then just click on the courses button at the top. And you can just browse the different courses that we have. For example, if you're looking to build apps, um, for example, like Airbnb and Reddit, then the complete guide to bubble is something for you to have a look at. And you can watch the video to see if this course is for you. And also click over to library to take a look at some of our recent articles. This is free content that goes through different no-code tools, how to use AI in your business, and lots of other things related to startups and the AI world. Now, if you're new to the channel, then please subscribe. And if you've enjoyed this video, then please like and share it. Check out the description for the links that I've mentioned, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.